Oh man, oh man. Boy, oh boy, has it been a while since I've been on YouTube, man. Oh my days, you lot, so much has happened. So, I haven't been on YouTube for quite some time now because one, I was focusing on my last two assignments for university, which was making the graduate film and the dissertation. So, I'll be, I was focusing on that and now I finished uni, um, also, I'm 22 now, um, my birthday was on the 3rd of May, so now I'm 22, finished uni and you know what, I just thought, you know what, since I finished right now, I want to give you lot some more tips for when, um, if, you're, if you are um, going into first year this year or if you're in second year right now or if you're about to go into your last year at uni, I just want to tell you lot some tips so like your whole experience just can just go smoke, blah, blah. <laughs> that's how you know I haven't been doing this for a while because I'm stuttering already, but I'm saying, I'm just gonna do this tips video so you lot can just make your experience go smoothly. But I didn't even do my intro. Yo, 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 my people, what you're telling me is your boy Kazzy's in back again with another video on the main channel. And yeah, let's get into this one. Let's go. Okay, if you lot are new here, my name's Kazzy Zuno. I'm 22, from London. I was at the University of Lincoln and I studied film production. Let's get into the tips. Number one, learn how to budget. This was something that I didn't I didn't do until near enough the end of second year to um, my third year experience, um, my third year at university. In first year I wasn't really that bad, but um, in second year was when I was quite poor with money. I didn't really use it properly. So learn how to budget. Just separate separate your money into different jars. So like for when you want to go out, for when uh, well this is in terms of uni. Uh, have a have a jar where you put money in for going out. Have one for your education, whether if you have to buy a book or if, say for instance, you're you're doing film, yeah. Um, your cost, your um, location, getting train tickets if that if they're not in Lincoln or if they're not in your university, get getting train tickets for the actors or whatever. But and then another one for food, because obviously you need to eat and stuff. You will never have to worry about not having enough money you literally know okay i've spent my money on this this is how much i can spend this week and well, then yeah it'll be golden number two start a meal plan or or basically learn how to cook so throughout my uni experience i cooked i cooked a bit so there were some days where i used to just get takeaways and stuff or didn't cook and whatever but um learn how to cook you'll save a lot of money because there, there's a lot, there's a lot of times where you see uni students just getting takeaways, like near enough every day, which is not good. You're you're wasting so much money on takeaways. Seriously, if you learn how to cook, one, it's much more healthier. Two, you can literally save it for like two, three days, depending on what you cook, and then you don't you'd have to cook the next day. You got another, you got a Tupperware of food that you can just put in the microwave. Number three, ask for help when needed. I didn't really ask for help until my last year at university because since that is the your the biggest year that it this year depends on whether you get your degree or not literally because what they take into account the markers take into account yeah seventy percent or depending on the uni um, with my with Lincoln I think it is seventy percent for your third year grades and then I think it was yeah third. 30% for your second year grades, something like that. Initially, when I was doing my dissertation, I didn't know it was gonna be a, a, such a long process to actually do it. Throughout the whole process, I was asking help from my, from my supervisor and she was such, shout out to Rosie, shout out to you, yeah. She was such a good supervisor. She literally supported me throughout made, and made me just understand what I need to do each time. So definitely ask for help from, from your lecturers, whether, if you're in first year or second year or if you're in third year and you're doing your dissertation therefore ask for help for, from your supervisors because once you ask for help you will actually know what you need to do and then you can just finish the assignment number four learn how to use a washing machine before uni i did not know how to to do a lot of stuff literally but university has definitely made me much more independent and it's allowed me to be able to do things for myself and i don't need to rely, rely on anyone this kind of made me change up my mindset and stuff for the better. One of the things I had to do was learn how to use a washing machine. Because you, if you don't wash your clothes, then you're just going to be stinking, I can't lie. You're just going to smell and who wants to be around someone that stinks? Serious. So yeah, definitely learn how to wash and learn how to use a washing machine. You can literally just type up, search it up or ask someone 
who knows how to do it. Number five, you need to develop or improve your time management. Because with uni, there's so much stuff that, say for instance, you have a part-time job, you have that, then you have to make sure to do your assignments on time and balance that with your social life. So you just have to manage your time properly so that everything can just go smoothly, serious. Because if you don't manage your time, then everything is just gonna fall apart for you. So, and especially with your assignments, because that's what you're there for. You're there to get your degree in what you wanna do. Well, even if you don't use your, use your um, degree to get the job, that to get the job that's associated with that um, subject, and, you, and you're gonna do something else, still, you're there to get your degree. That's the main point of going to university, to get your degree. So therefore, manage your time, especially with your assignments, so then, when you've done your assignments, you don't have to worry about anything else. You can literally enjoy your social life, party with friends, go out or whatever. And then, or you could just go, go to work and just get a lot of money. Number six, make the most out of first year. So the people who are in college or in sixth form right now and are about to leave, and then in September, you lot are going to your first year at university, make the most out of it. Because I did, I feel like, I could have went out even more, but I went out so much the first year. First year was was the best year for me. The best year, honestly. I went out a lot, went out on Freshers Week, went out a lot. I met a, a whole variety of new people. Um, I just had fun, to be honest, the first year. I had fun, I had so much fun, and I would not take it back. I, I, if I had the chance to go again, then I would just go out more. I actually um, joined societies because I didn't join a society so I would have met even more people if I joined a society so yeah make sure go even if you don't drink yet yeah, just go out to places go out in the city or if you do drink um, go clubbing go uh, join a society um, what else can you do there's just, there's just so much you can do man especially in first year because that 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 year is pretty much the easiest year to be honest because you only need 40% to, to progress onto second year and everyone can get that come on it's 40% number seven choose your friends wisely choose them wisely because especially in first year you think everyone is your friend but as soon as you get to second year and third year you find out that that's not the case because in my case there was a lot of people that obviously I'm not going to say names but there was a lot of people that didn't really show their true character. They just wanted to put on a front in first year so they would make people like them. With me, I never did that. Why am I changing? Why the hell would I change my character or who I really am as a person just for people to like me? There's no point in that. There's literally no point in that. You're, you're pretty much being fake. You're putting up a front. you got a mask. You're not being your real self. So I would say surround yourself with, with good people that you know have your back. And obviously you will have theirs. People who, are, who aren't negative, who have been positive vibes, people who actually want to do well in life and want to succeed and just working on their goals and you can support each other. The last tip I would say is to get to know your surroundings because with me, especially in first year, I made sure to go out, go out in the city, but there was so much more that I didn't even see. There's literally so much more in Lincoln that I didn't see that I should have. Once you get to know your surroundings, you're more aware, you become more aware obviously of, of your surroundings and you become you become more comfortable because once you're comfortable with something you literally it's like it, it comes as second nature to you guys that's the end of the video i'm saying i'm back on youtube casino is back on youtube consistent content is coming every single week week every single week on both channels and um ah yeah 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 <laughs> but yeah you lot will see me in the next one Peace.